Hello, 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 good morning. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. It has been an extremely long time since I have posted. And in this first video back, we are going to do a little week in my life as a fourth year history PhD candidate studying at The Ohio State University. And I will be filling you in on everything I have been up to, which includes a six and a half week research trip to France, as well as kind of a week, it wasn't really vacation, but a week in Greece with my husband. He was doing a work study trip and I was coming along, helping, asking good questions to the people we were working with. Um, but yeah, I am excited to be back. It's been quite a while. I am trying to this week get into back into a schedule because last week was spring break for people at OSU, but I still had a lot of work to do for my part-time job on campus. So I was just doing that all week. And then, yeah, this week it's time to really hit the ground running. I have to go to Columbus on Wednesday for some meetings. And since I already have to be there, I think I'm gonna email my advisor and see if he wants to catch up. And the last bit of exciting news before I get into the work day is that it is officially grant acceptance slash rejection season. And you guys know last year, I pretty much documented the whole grant application process. I didn't do that so much this year, but I did apply to a lot of grants. I literally don't even know if I could count. I think like eight or nine. And two I didn't get, but I have gotten three other ones. And I was also accepted for a conference in Australia this summer in July, but I think I'm gonna present via Zoom because I didn't get like grant funding for that specific conference. But I am very pleased that I have gotten three other grants. One is a small one through OSU that's allowing me to go back to France for three weeks in May. Another one is with the Historia de la Grande Guerre, which is a really big center and museum for World War I studies in France. And I'm one of three recipients, which means two things. A, I get research funding, which is awesome. And B, I get to go back to France again in June to go to a conference they're putting on and do like a five minute kind of elevator pitch of my research to all the scholars there, which is so super exciting. And then the last one is I once again got funding from the Center for National Security Studies at Ohio State. And I just found out about that one. And that means I can go to Australia for like two months. So things are going well over here. There's still a few that I don't know yet. If I've gotten, I'm still like waiting to hear back, but I will keep you guys updated on how that all goes. All that to say, it's been a good grant season. First up though, I have a video that I've been working on for this job that I do. And this video is very long. Usually the videos that I make are somewhere in between like eight to 12 minutes, depending on how long the script is. This one I'm doing is on Mao's Cultural Revolution. And just the audio alone is like over 20 minutes. So I need to do another pass through of the audio to make sure it's all lining up with the script correctly and then start plugging in photos that I've already found. So that is what we're gonna do first, but welcome back. Excited to be back. How have you guys been doing? Let me know in the comments what you guys have been up to and let's get right to work. are okay we are pausing for lunch i thought you were hiding andrew came home for lunch we had to take maggie to the vet because she was sick last week all is good now and we're both eating leftover veggie pizza andrew and i are both like vegetarians now um at the house sometimes we eat meat out in restaurants but vegetarian at the house and we're watching uh simultaneously but separately catching up on <laughs> YouTube videos. <laughs> okay, I've been working on my part-time job on campus for a while now working on that video. So I'm gonna switch gears because it's already 3.23 and I've got a lot to do for the rest of the 
Bleh. I have a lot to do for the rest of the day, but I think I'm gonna move locations because I was standing for a good portion of the day at the standing desk, and then I just don't feel like being at a desk anymore. So I'm gonna sit in this chair. I'm sure Maggie will join me. And then I'm gonna send emails to a few scholars who are a part of the steering committee for the grant that I won. My advisor is also uh, a part of that community and kind of got an inside scoop on people who are interested in my subject and who want to talk to me more about it, which is awesome. So I need to email a few scholars and see if I can set up a time to talk about my work or if they just want to talk via email. So that's what I'm going to do for the next hour or so. now to Tuesday. Yesterday was a pretty productive day overall, but I definitely didn't get enough work done on my PhD dissertation as I would like to. One thing that's really hard about being in a PhD program where you're not on a fellowship or anything like that is the other jobs that you might have, whether it be teaching, grading, etc., any sort of graduate research job, takes a lot of time. It's very time consuming. And even like my job where I'm supposed to be doing it 20 hours a week, it still seems to eat up a good chunk of the day, even though it works out to being like four hours a day. It's still a lot. And I once again took on another supplemental grading position because money and in as a grad student, money is very important. I'm actually going to make a video pretty soon talking about how I make extra money as a grad student because over the last two two years i guess i have earned on average an additional ten thousand dollars a year by doing these supplemental grading positions which is kind of insane when you think about what our usual salary is i think i've added on like a third of that by taking on these extra positions but it does mean that sometimes it slows me down on my dissertation which is a bit counterproductive so i'll go all all into that in another video but first up today, I usually like to start with my graduate research job making these videos just because it's an easy thing to get right into in the morning. But given that I have been doing less dissertation work lately, I might need to switch that up. Um, but for now, we're still going to get back into the video making. I still have a lot of work to do on the Mao video. I finished the audio editing yesterday and now I'm still on the hunt for different photos and videos to insert into this creation. So I'm gonna work on that for this first part of the morning and then try and see what I can do dissertation wise for the second half of the day. Okay, I've been working for about three and a half hours now and I feel like I was not making as quick progress. I was working the whole time, but like was hitting a lot of roadblocks and wasn't finding exactly what I was hoping to find today for the video. So I'm going to take a break for lunch, take Miss Maggie out on a little walk. Even though it's so super cold, it's the end of March and it is extremely cold, which I'm bummed about, but we're going to attempt to walk and then I'm going to dive into my PhD work for, for the rest of the day. I have two emails I need to send to scholars who are interested in my work and then I already have a meeting set up on Wednesday for someone who I emailed last night, which is exciting. And then I think I'm going to do some secondary reading from some articles that I found the other day. I haven't done that in honestly a long time. I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday, 
but I was in France doing research for about six weeks and I was archiving during the day and then doing my graduate research job in the evenings. So I was a very tired girl all the time, but I got a lot of work done. I was so deep in the primary sources though, I need to take a little step back and do some secondary research so that I can figure out how to put it all together in my next chapter. So secondary reading after lunch today. Okay, today is now Wednesday. I'm getting back into the hang of vlogging. So kind of trailed off at the end of yesterday, but I was able to get a lot of secondary reading done and took a walk with the dog and Andrew and had dinner and did some more reading for fun. Today is going to be a very busy day though. Uh, first up, I have a meeting at 9.30 with a professor in France to talk about my research. Then I'm driving to Columbus for a lunchtime meeting with a member of my committee who I haven't talked to in a really long time. So it'll be good to kind of catch up on my work and research and what I've been up to. And then I have therapy. But Wednesday, my therapist, it's like the one day that she is only online so I had to like book a room at the library because I don't have any space on campus that I could do like a zoom session from so that'll be interesting and then driving back home I don't know when I'm gonna have time today to do anything for my graduate research job um, we may just have to double up on the weekend or something because with all of the driving and the meetings I don't know if that's gonna happen today but it will be a lot of good discussing with professors, which is always good. Um, I have about 30 minutes, 40 minutes before my meeting with my uh, with this professor. So I feel like I'm just gonna brush up on everything that I did while I was in Lille. This professor does a lot of work with the occupied territory during World War One in France. So I wanna be able to really have down what I did while I was over there so that he doesn't give me advice of things that I've already done. So prep for the meeting and then meeting and then we'll check back in. Okay, I just finished my meeting. Ah, it went really well. And I'm also just like very, ah, I'm very proud of my French because I've been having to use my French more in academic settings, which is like very different from using French in everyday life. And one of the things that I did when I was in France, um, last month was I gave a conference in French. It was not like a panel situation. It was just me giving a talk at the chateau that I used to work at on Marine de Guerre, which are war godmothers. And I was giving a talk about the war godmother who was at the chateau. And there were like 35 people who came and I spoke in French for like 45 minutes. And then people, I had a Q and A afterwards and I don't think my French was like super great there, but like I did it. And like just now having a meeting with a random French professor, like go me, I'm very happy. Another day, another dollar. Am I right, Maggie? <laughs> Okay, it is now Thursday. Yesterday was my day on campus, which was fairly uneventful. I had that meeting in the morning, which went really well. And then I went to campus. I had a meeting with a committee member that went really well. It was pretty casual, just like talking about what I've been up to, plans for the future, how long I'm seeing that my dissertation will take, writing comparative studies, etc. So it was nice to have kind of a more casual chit chat about my work, but it was still got some good ideas and things moving forward. Then I had my therapy on Zoom on campus and then I drove back and we had church stuff last night with Andrew and then we watched Survivor. So today is a new day. It is already, I think, 1030. I've been working for a little while now. Today I switched it up and I started with doing secondary reading for my dissertation and today I was reading a book called Oublié de la Grande Guerre and it is subtitled hum uh, Humanitaire et Culture de Guerre and it talks a lot about um, the people who were in the occupied part of France during World War One, but also prisoners of war 
and civil prisoners who were taken in the northern part of France. Right now, the section that I am at is talking all about military prisoners of war, which is also interesting for my topic because I'm finding that women with children whose husbands were POWs probably suffered more than any other classification of mothers with children because they were having to send their husbands even more things to keep them alive than people whose husbands were just fighting at the front because of the conditions in the camps. So got some good stuff in here. I think I'm going to take a little break though. I've read probably about a third of the book between yesterday and today. I'm very proud of myself for how my French is coming. But I'm going to switch it up because while I was in France, I bought a lot of books. Like I had to redo my entire bookshelf essentially because I got so many more books here, here, really everywhere. And some of the things that I got were some journals that were written during the war, particularly by people who lived in the occupied territory of France during the war. So I think I'm gonna pick the biggest one first. It is it is literally huge. And I think I'm gonna start reading this to see what I can find, if there's anything I can use. I wanna start writing my next chapter soon, so I wanna make sure I'm going through all the secondary literature that I have recently acquired, such as this. There's also another one I wanna get started on, kind of about sexuality during the war. So I've got a lot, a lot of secondary sources to read, and it's been a minute since I've done that, so. We gotta get, we gotta get moving. I am still having trouble on this video that I'm working on. So I think this afternoon I'm going to change and start on another video and get the audio editing done. That way, since I'm in a rut, I don't wanna keep staying in the rut. So I'm gonna switch it up, start working on another project and then circle back to the Mao video tomorrow. But that's my plan for the next few hours. I think I'm gonna hydrate with some water and then counteract the hydration with a little iced chai and get to reading this massive journal. I'm feeling pretty done with the work day today. It is 5.40, I'm working a while. The new video that I'm working on is about the discovery of insulin. Ins insulin, insulin. Anyways, pretty interesting and always a relevant topic because of the outrageous prices that companies place on life-saving drugs like that. So, interesting video to make and I'm finding a lot of good photos. It's always easier when there's a bunch of photos that I can find right off the bat because I know that the rest of the video is going to be easier to produce than like the Mal video where I'm at a stopping point because it's a super long video like 19 minutes and so far I can only find images to go along with it for like a quarter of the video which normally I would be done by then um but it's a long video. So I think I'm going to take a break and watch last night's episode of The Amazing Race. And then I might do some more reading, secondary reading, because I'm kind of really into my dissertation right now and enjoying reading the secondary sources and finding inspiration in them. So I might do a little reading later. We'll see how things pan out. But first, a little mind break and The Amazing Race. My meeting went really well. There's just something special about hearing your advisor say that they're proud of you. I love that. Yeah, so that went well. Uh, basically just chatting about my plans for the next year, where my research is at, etc. Underscoring the need for me to get something published, which I'm increasingly stressed about and know that it's something that I need to do, but don't really know where to start. That's my priority though for the month of April to figure out where I wanna try and get something published and then figure out exactly what I wanna submit. 
I have to go to campus for visitation day today. I was originally, didn't even know much about it since I'm not on GSAC this year and was not involved in the planning at all for once, which was nice. And I was like, oh yeah, I guess I'm not participating in it this year. And then I got an email that was like, can you be on a panel? So I'm gonna be on a panel and then I'm meeting up with a potential student who's gonna be working with my advisor afterwards and another one of my advisor's students. And we're just gonna have coffee with the prospective student. So I need to leave in about an hour for that. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna start a new book called La Guerre et la Foi. I was told as part of the feedback for this grant that I received that my project is missing a religious dimension, which is true. I really have not addressed religion at all in any of the proposals that I've done. Just doing a project on something like motherhood, it can literally touch so many different aspects. So it's hard to try to remember to include all of these different things. But anyways, this book is a very foundational book when it comes to war and faith and religion. So I'm gonna try and read a little bit of this before I have to go to campus. 